Father Ron here, the God Minute. It's Concert Friday, as you know. But because we've had so many new listeners join us in our prayer family here at the God Minute, let me just give you a quick explanation for those of you who are wondering. It's the one day of the week, Friday, where instead of us leading our reflection, we choose a song or two to do that. So recognizing the beauty and the power of music to lead us closer to Jesus. And so today, that concert Friday, and it's a song that many of you probably know and remember. It's one I love. And it makes me think this, that, you know, one of the reasons we're all so drawn to and attracted to to kids or at least I think many of us are, <laughs> is that, you know, they see reality, you know, clouds, color, life, a squirrel running up a tree as amazing. You know, they, they look and they're dumbfounded, illusions of color and joy and amazement. They have a beautiful simplicity and, and see things, I think, as they truly are. That squirrel, that little animal with his furry coat jumping and scurrying up trees, nibbling away at the little acorn with his fuzzy tail wagging behind him. And we, as adults, see the squirrel as a rodent (laughs) that wreaks havoc, steals bird food, damages our flower gardens, and spread disease, a filthy little animal. (laughs) Where did we lose the innocence of life, the simplicity? Why did we stop asking the question, where did all this amazing stuff come from? Life, I guess. You know, life changes us. It makes us more cynical and jaded. The illusions and amazements of our youth give way to disappointment, mm, cynicism, You know, we start seeing things as we see them rather than, well, how God sees his creation. So, friends, this song today on Concert Friday is a lament to that innocence of life. It's a song about how our perception changes as life's realities shatter that optimistic illusions we had when we start out as kids. And the older we get, the more it seems we can lose that grandeur and wonder. But the thing I love about the song is the conclusion of optimism, where the verse goes, And still, somehow, it's life's illusions I recall. Do you know the song yet? It's life's illusions that I will remember and recall. It signifies that although you might be wiser and no longer deceived, seeing things as they truly are, it's actually the lovely illusions that stick with you in your memory and your heart. You know, like the way you felt when you were a child and saw wonderful shapes in the clouds that look like ice cream castles. Or the dizzy feeling of falling in love. Can we recall that optimism again? I think it's why so many were attracted to Jesus. Because he saw everything in life as illusions of majesty and treasure. Reflections of his father who created it all. We like to think we're wiser now in our adult life, that we no longer see things as a little child, that we understand. But what the song reminds me is how much we really don't know about things rather than believing what we do. Rose and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles in the Everywhere I've looked at clouds that we but now they only block the sun, they rain and 
snow on everyone So many things I would have done But clouds got in my way I've looked at clouds from both sides now Gone up and down And still somehow it's cloud illusions I recall I really a great song, isn't it? Thanks for praying with us today, friends. May God's blessing go with you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.